Greetings fellow adventurers, Timberwolf here, another Diablo 4 adventure. Um, today I'm actually not working on my uh, main characters, uh, Marlin and Malik. Um, you've seen me farm both of these in the attempt to eventually be able to take on Duriel in the regular game, but I'm also um, trophy hunting. And so the achievement that I decided I'd want, I'd like to farm next would be to uh, reach level 50 in Hardcore. Anyone that's played Diablo series knows Hardcore is the permanent death if you die. So you don't get to, <laughs> no continue, you're, you're, you're dead, it's, it, it's over. You lose your character no matter how hard you worked on it. So I've been working hard. I tried uh, my typical Rogue build for hardcore and I just kept getting wasted. It's really hard um, starting off as a rogue and uh, very unforgiving. Obviously, once you get to, you know, where I am now, then you're pretty tough, but starting off here, no, it's just not so well. So um, I found actually one of the easiest characters to, um, to take on is the Necromancer. So I've got one here. I created a character I named Astara. And uh, as you can see, she's quite frightening, <laughs> which is very cool. I love the look. It's really awesome. I worked on this for a while. And uh, we're about ready to hit level 50. And after that, I don't plan on doing any more hardcore for a while. It's just, it's very, very stressful uh, just because you could just die. Um, I'm staying in veteran. I'm not advancing up to, uh, to nightmare. Not a chance. Um, not for a while anyways, but anyways, let's hop in here. So one of the things that's cool in Diablo 4 is when you first start off as the Necro, and I believe it was also the case of Diablo 3, actually no, I think you had to, you had to go up a couple of levels. In Diablo 4, right away, you have the ability to summon your skeleton army, which you end up, you, end up, you only have four to start with, but still. That's pretty cool to be able to start with that because that can really help you in the earlier levels. And that's what got me through is having my little horde of, uh, of uh, you know, fighters here to kind of act as shields and distract the enemies and keep me from getting, you know, obliterated. So as you can see, I've gotten pretty high up on the uh, trophy board here for the, the Hunter's Acclaim. And um, so this is uh, Bloodseeker's personal effects. Not a clue what would be in there. Probably nothing great, but whatever. Let's check it out. Okay, so we got a bunch of more packs. We got some potent blood. Awesome. For uh, upgrading our vampire powers. And, um... Yeah, nothing all that great as far as gear. We've got some pretty good gear. Been obviously grinding for quite a while to get to where I am now with these this gear and these powers, but... My eyes can only watch so much. So. And uh, the blood harvest just moved to a new location, I believe. Yes, it did. It moved back over here to um, this area in the southern Skulls Glen here. So let's jump on in. And that's great that the whispers are uh, reloaded. So. Three Grim Favors to rescue villagers. Um, call the Highland Ghouls, 150 for five Grim Favors. And then the, high, the um, Blood Seekers. So I'll probably take care of the Blood Seekers and the Ghouls first. Um, finding people to rescue is, that takes a while because you know you gotta kinda keep on traversing the whole area. And there's a lot more monsters to fight than there are people to to, to, to rescue, I've noticed. One thing I've noticed too, playing hardcore, there's very few other players out here. <laughs> Nobody wants to die. So, um, and hey, I get it. I get it. So, which is why I'm, I'm not, you know, probably not going to bother with it as much once I get busy. I'm just going to be like, okay, thank you. Been there, done that. And let's go back to just having fun without freaking out. One thing I did say previously, and I have to backtrack on it now because that is not correct, because hey, I'm a noob um, with this game. And uh, that is that the leveling up, the Paragon levels are not unlimited as I thought they were. 
Um, if you remember when I went to the abilities and I showed you the Paragon board, um, which I actually can't show you because uh, this character doesn't have it yet, but um, it turns out that there is a limit to how many Paragon points you can get. And that limit, I think, is something like 221, if I'm not mistaken, or somewhere in that, in that ballpark. So basically, even though there's like eight different Paragon boards, and each one of them has, I, I don't even know how many, probably hundreds of, uh, you know, potentially hundreds of modules. There's not unlimited growth because they could cap you out at, 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 at 221. So you're only going to be able to use like a few of those boards. You're not going to be able to use them all. And um, out of those boards, you're not really probably not going to be able to fill them all the way up. So I'm like, well, that's really lame because that means that, you know, once you've maxed out your Paragon points, there's nowhere else to grow. That's it. That's, that's as advanced as your character is ever going to get. Which, to me, it, 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 that totally sucks because all I've been looking for is a game with unlimited growth. Now, Skyrim has unlimited growth. You can make your skills legendary, reset them, um, and then just... You know, recall the points and go ahead and level it up again so you continue to grow and level up and continue to gain hit points and, um, you know, continue to gain, um, you know, experience. And you can do that as many times as you want. And I also remember in Diablo 3, I think you were able to get all the way up to, like, Paragon 800, which is, I mean, it's not unlimited. There is, obviously is a cap to it, but it was just huge the amount of grinding you'd have to do to get that far and um whereas with this one here diablo 4 i've only been playing this game for a few weeks although i've been you know rabbit team playing it like daily um nonetheless i'm already at paragon level 100 which is as high as you can get and uh i've already maxed out my points so there's really no you know my main character uh Malik, uh or um Marlin, rather. So there's no more growth with him. I can't. I can't gain any more levels. I can't gain. I. I can't make him any stronger. He's maxed out, which is really sucking because it's like it almost, in a way, you know, the only thing that's left is, you know, farming for rare gear. And uh, I mean that. That just that's super lame. Oh, hey, look! Somebody started up the the blood harvest. Let's get over there great way to gain some experience. And I mean, I get it, because obviously it makes more sense for them. You know, because, you know, if they had a game that you could play indefinitely, well, then that would fill any teams that you want to buy another game, right? And I, I, I understand that from a marketing standpoint. That, you know, that they, that, that's probably what you're thinking. They don't, they don't want to be able to you know, play and play and play. Right? They want you to buy more and more of their games. You know, they want Diablo 5, and Diablo 6, and all that other stuff. So, I get it. But, at the same time, though, I think it's pretty crappy. Because, um, especially, I mean, again, I'm not really looking for unlimited here. Oh, I hit 50. Holy crap. We did it. Here I am, blabbing and blabbing, and uh, bam, we just hit 50. Yep, 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 50 in hardcore mode, feet of the hero. That is very awesome. Bam, broke all kinds of challenges doing that. the opportunity to join the little... I cannot carry more. Okay, let's uh, go back to Ked Bardu. That's not Ked Bardu. <laughs> That's it. 
Although I didn't see the, uh... It's strange, I didn't see the achievement thing tick off. What's up with that? That was very cool. Appreciate you guys uh, joining me for that little, uh... Little, uh, adventure there. Hey, now that we can go into the Paragon. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, remember before where I had all these different boards that I could attach? Well, there's only, there's eight boards, and with Marlin, I think I'm only using three of them now. And, um, so it's, you know, it's limited on, on what you can do, what you can grow. But it is what it is, you know. And who knows? Maybe, maybe they will, um, you know, put in a hot fix or a patch that'll increase the number of Paragon points that we're capped at. That would be very, very cool. Um, if they, if they raise that number to say 500, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I would be very happy with that. Um, as would I, I, I would imagine a lot of players. So, but who knows? Um, anyways. Appreciate you joining me here, and uh, I'll be taking a break from Diablo 4 tomorrow, jumping back into Fallout 76. It's Tuesday, so that means uh, new stuff coming into the Atom Shop. I'm hoping there's a Santa hat. You know, I was really disappointed, you know, but we're, we'll talk about Diablo, we'll talk all Fallout 76 uh, uh, tomorrow uh, on my next video. So, um, but here we are, so we hit level 50 in Hardcore. That is a not an achievement, an easy achievement to pull off. Um, took a lot of patience and a lot of, a lot of grinding to get there. And uh, appreciate you on that, uh, joining me on that journey. So we'll uh, see y'all soon. And until the next adventure.